like to talk a little bit about prepping for the studio. Um, it's real important to be ready to go into the studio. Most studios that you'll go into are going to charge you by the hour. Some will do by the project, but most will be by the hour. And so if you want to get the most bang for your buck, you want to be ready to be there. Um, the, the thing I would say is the most important is click track, click track, click track. If you can't play to a metronome or a click track, don't even go near a studio until you can. Uh, that is kind of a critical piece to production when you're in the studio is being able to keep yourself on precise time so that when they add in other instrumentation, it all fits together. So very, very important piece of, of uh, expertise to have down before you hit the studio. You also want to know your production in advance. You want to know where the song's going. You want to know at what point the electric guitar solo is going to come in. You want to know at what point the drums are going to have uh, are, are going to ramp up. You want to know where your little ukulele bit is going to be, or whatever the piece is. You want to kind of have a general idea of of the song and how it builds before you go in to record it. As a side note, um, I would also say leave room for a happy accident to happen because you might be recording something and you do something by mistake and it really works. So you got to be flexible when you're doing it, but have a well-planned um, production in advance and be ready to change it if you need to. Um, I'd also say it's important, just like I said with the photo shoot, it's important to um, go with professionals. So if you're a singer-songwriter and you don't have a band, um, pay studio musicians. You may have some people in your church that play instruments and they're pretty good on a worship team, but that doesn't necessarily translate into quality studio musicianship. There's people that do it for a living that know how to play to a click track flawlessly. They can almost do it without a click track flawlessly. Um, it's worth the money that you'll put in up front versus having to edit and change and retake things over and over again once you're in the studio. Um, it's, it's worth the money for a, a studio musician. You also want to have your instrument professionally set up before you go in. If you're a guitar player, pay a luthier to take a good look at it. Make sure your frets are at a good level. Make sure your intonation in your guitar is, is stable as you go up the neck of the guitar. Because um, that's more and more stuff that's expensive to fix in editing later on um, in the process. Um, it may take you a couple hundred bucks to get your guitar in shape, but it's worth it. So spend the money for that. Um, also to guitarists, I would recommend, and everybody has slightly different take, it depends on the sound you're going for, but I recommend getting a uh, fresh set of strings on your guitar for each song that you're going to track and for each day of tracking. Have, have a fresh set of strings ready to go. Um, singers, it's good to prehydrate. Your vocal cords are your instrument, and if they don't have the hydration they need, you're going to blow out your voice pretty quickly. You're not going to be able to sustain and get through all the songs. So I would recommend, uh, a lot of places say drink 10 cups of water a day for three days before you record, and that gives your body time to be hydrated. It gets the, the hydration to the cellular level, so to speak. Um, also, uh, bring several copies, uh, physical copies of your music to the studi studio with you so that you can take notes, make it double spaced so that you have room to write in notes and you have enough for each musician that's going to be there. And this is a funny one, but it's true. You want to bring snacks <laughs> because if you're really on a roll and your body is shutting down because you have no energy left to finish your session, you want to have a granola bar or even a bag lunch there so that you can keep going but give your body the nourishment it needs. If you don't take care of yourself, you're really not going to be have much to offer the rest of the world. So those are some of my thoughts on, on preparing for the studio. Mm -hmm.